he kind of going through the same kind of stuff that Iverson went through off the court. Yeah, but I think. And this might be bigger because, you know, there's social media now, too. I, man, it's like, it's unnecessary on both ends. But I feel like Jaws is just stupider. It's the same stuff. It's, it is. Iverson's, was, Iverson's is violence and Jaws is just stupidity. I mean, they both were stupid, though. You know what I'm saying? Which is like, stuff that you do with money at a certain age. Yeah. Or notoriety. A whole bunch of it. Well, the difference is, Iverson grew up in... There was no tiki talk. Well, not even or that. No, he, Iverson grew up in the hood. Or no... Um, and that's why I said it's stupider for Ja, because right. it's like, come on. Man. Iverson grew up in the hood. It's almost a way you could say, well, Iverson didn't really know no better. He was just like... He was being himself, yeah. essentially. But you know, Jaws, Jaws had, like, he went to a private school. He had both parents in the house. Oh, he got the, the, oh, so they really weren't joking about that. I saw a lot of little fake memes about the whole, because you know on, um, what's that, 8, eight Mile? Mm-hmm. He, you know, mm-hmm. he, he went to Pembroke. That's a private school. No, he did go to Pembroke. So, yeah. it, so yeah, it's like he's too. fake thugging, but it was, but he's recently apologized. Didn't he just put out an apology? Yeah, that was a man-made I mean, apology. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, the he's, media. He's supposed to do know. that. I mean, yeah, that is what he's supposed <laughs> to do. You don't get paid hundreds of millions of dollars by an yeah. organization and not have to. That's true. Sit there I and think, apologize. I think this is going to go over a little easier than Iris and stuff did. The Iris and stuff lingered into his. Because this is only happening to Jai after he was in the league. That stuff stopped Iverson from getting to certain colleges. All that stuff. Yeah. I mean, if it weren't for John Thompson, you know what I'm saying? And his mama. And his mama, yep. His Shout mama out to was, my mamas out there. Shout out to all mamas. Yeah, that's a fact. His mother, boy. Let me see, she went and begged John Thompson mm-hmm. to take him. His name John or Don Thompson? John. John Thompson. Dude from Georgetown. The older. Old guy. The older Black guy. guy. Okay. He's senior, right? Well, he's passed now. The second. Yeah, he's he passed now. Yeah, his his son is um, John Thompson. He got the same name. No, John. Oh, yeah, it is. I think one, <laughs> his son is like, like the third or the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, just yeah, trying yeah. to figure yeah, out right. who he is. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hold on. Let me check that. So that is he we, junior or he's senior? No, nah, no. Nah, we about to check the that. The son is the third, I thought. Number three. So then that means a junior is in front of him or a second. Yeah, usually. So maybe John Thompson is the second, and then his father was. How do y'all feel about those juniors and seniors and, you know, that type of thing? Some people feel like it doesn't give a child its own identity. Some worried. people say it gives them something to live up to. I ain't worried about that. You don't have a junior. Is I there a reason about... why you didn't want a junior? Uh... I just wanted my sons to have an easier name to say. Like, my name is three syllables. John, uh. I, I wanted them to have something easier. <laughs> so I was like, nah, we're not doing the junior thing. Yeah, John Thompson is definitely the third. So you're right. John okay. Thompson the second was the second. Okay. Yeah, okay. So. Um, How about you? You had a son with uh, you I don't like to my be? name. And it's not that there's anything wrong with it, but since you're asking, I'll give the specifics. First of all, my name is very common. Give the specifics. Oh. And I'm, I just don't feel like I'm a very common individual. It doesn't represent me. You well. feel like it didn't give you the glory you yeah. needed it? Uh, I feel that way about my name sometimes. I feel like my name should be something like a... Um, Herman. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Herman Rutherford. Go. Rutherford. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know, just, you know, something. You thought about it. What would you, what would you have done? You got a name. You got man. one. Go ahead and tell me. I'm going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> I think my name should have been D'Angelo. D'Angelo. I think my name. D'Angelo. I think I'm okay. D'Angelo. I think don't I look like What's a D'Angelo? Like, I may call Angelo. you D from now on. <laughs> oh, I'm a man, Angelo. No, I don't like that. You don't like that. I think this now. I take it. Oh, I was going to call you D. I was going to be like, what's D- up, D? I said Angelo. Oh, you. <laughs> that D-Lo, ain't too long. D-Lo, D-Lo, Angelo. Sort of indeed, Angelo. I don't know. Something just, you know. 
I guess it's gotten me a lot of jobs or at least a lot of interviews, so I'll take it. Hi. I like my name. I just don't like to say it myself. And so I didn't want to put that burden on <laughs> none of my teeth. I think you're the only person that had that problem. I mean, I don't have that. I know I heard a lot of people say, oh, I want them to have their own identity, but that don't really work. All, all boys grow up to be, want to be like their dad or follow behind their dad. Or, yeah. well, for, for a good part of them, most yeah. of them. Okay. I feel like when you do the junior senior thing, uh-huh. you got to be a great man. I feel the way that same way too. Like if you're going to do that, or else your son's going to regret it. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because if you're a trash father, then it's just like, man, I got his name. Yeah. This is whack. True story. Yeah. It's a true story. That's a, that's a really good point. I didn't even think that much into it. Just because I would never do it. <laughs> yeah, it takes the fun out of it, too. I like doing st- I like, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole creativity around the conversations you have around naming the child and all that stuff. It's mm. out the window. That's done. Yeah, once you get to like number four. Oh man, it's hard. <laughs> y'all know. <laughs> it's hard. You don't understand. Y'all come up with something. I hope so. We can't agree. I hope so. Ooh, we we can't myself. agree at all. Hyphenate them. First middle, maybe? Huh? Will someone take the first and someone takes the middle? Well, here's the thing. Who gets, here's the who thing. Gets choice I have compromised. Oh. oh. With the first. Well, this is an even number. Three. Three. So the odd so you number. Yeah. So I'm saying. So I should get this one. <laughs> you haven't heard what she would like to use. I didn't hear what she wants to use for the name. And you still want her to get this Stick one? Stick beside me. <laughs> Speaking of sticking beside. Oh, all right. Sticking beside. Y'all wouldn't. You wouldn't stick beside your wife if she walked around in something like Sierra War. Like this right here? Right. <laughs> uh, relatively speaking. Man, I think there's a time and place for everything, okay. right? What was, what was that, the Grammys? The Oscars. Yeah, Oscar. if you, I mean, you going to wear it, where, you gonna, where else you going to wear that? I don't think the Oscars is the place to have your booty cheeks out. Wow. That's all I'm saying. So, it was, so wait. It was oh. an Oscar party. I don't think an Oscar party is a place to have well, your no, booty it was, cheeks Wasn't it Jay-Z's out. and Beyonce's party? Yeah. Oh, well, then that's the different. Because, I mean, Beyonce always got her booty cheeks out everywhere. Right. So, Not like that, though. I don't know. But it wasn't just the cheeks. It was everything was out. I mean, yeah. Here's the thing, though. Like, it it's was like, securely. It was secure in that in that net, though. Everything was secure inside the net. Not the net. So if you, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, essentially, she had on what you would wear to a beach, a thong bikini type situation, kinda. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad that like I saw some people were like, oh, her, this woman exposing herself like this. Woo, woo, woo. I ain't oh, right. really tripping off that. Okay. If you got it. Show it. Hey. You don't care the fact that she got Now, when kids. I come with a neck sleeve, oh, and that's okay. it. Oh, this is what we're doing? Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll keep that same energy. No, I'm just kidding. But no, nah, I mean, like I said, it's time and place for everything. Man. You, didn't think, think, you didn't think that was appropriate? Yeah, I, I didn't On think so. On the beach, so. we would have been good. You would have been good with yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, right, whatever. Right, right. I, it was a party. All right. That's your opinion on it. It was a party. Is that your honest opinion? Be honest. Come on now. If I was shit, no, we're not talking about the, that. The, no, we kind of are. We are. We're, but I'm the, saying, the, oh, I don't want to hear I if I was this and that. Do you think what she had on was appropriate? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it was appropriate. It, it, uh, she had the right shape for it. It okay. fit her. Um, yes. What other variables do you think? It's made appropriate it, for her. It's appropriate. What for other her. variables do you think made it appropriate? It was she. she she's Sierra. She. She's. She's, she could fit it. Like, fit it fit her. So her being, who, oh, because, and I'm asking that because there's some variables for any, me. I didn't see any dents or dimples or. or Ain't nothing wrong with dents and dimples. I'm, well, my first, my first issue was, you know, I heard a lot of people commenting on her dress and how she looked. And also how that made her husband look. But a lot of these people are school teachers. They work for the government. Uh, they Uber drivers. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with those occupations. But what I'm saying is Sierra's an entertainer. Oh. 
Okay, so mm -hmm. she dresses like this for video shoots, um, music videos, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. He signed up for this. I mean, he kind of knew that his wife was going to be in one way, shape, or form. You know, he could have expected this, and and you know, you if she if, entertainer, she dressed like an entertainer. Yeah. You know, if my wife was a school teacher and she wanted to go to a uh, a ball like that, I'll be like, absolutely not. Yeah, like, come on. What are you doing? I ain't yeah. signed up for this. You don't want to be a school teacher anymore. You know what? what <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what if she wasn't the school teacher? What if she was... All right, something more uh, realistic? Because everybody uh, has to date somebody in Hollywood, right? So let's just yeah, say... Yeah, what, what, what's non-Hollywood job? A workout enthusiast. Mm. Okay. You you would be acceptable. Yeah. Or it, it would be acceptable. Well, her body is a it's, constant yeah, display. She always showing and her body. Outside. if I had gotten my point, my head wrapped around the idea that I'm okay with that, Thing, yeah. Of being with someone who's constantly gonna be on on front. It's in the same room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of have to be okay with that. So, so it's it's okay because of that. But if she just wanted to, you know, one night give it all she got, you couldn't give it a grace for one night. So that's the other thing. That's the that's the that's the other variable. It's I my thirty fifth birthday. That's the I other variable to. I took into account because she was she is with her husband. Is this the first time? For Sierra, I Probably feel not. like, like I said, she's an entertainer. So. I feel like she's always, you know. Don't forget, she dated Future now. So, <sighs> just saying. Future like naked, naked bitch. He like. Naked. I mean, we know we know the type of joints he end up with or that he be talking about. So, she had to sow some version of that in order for him to be, you know. Yeah. What 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 didn't help to me is his face in the picture too. <laughs> but I think whoever in this took picture the, right here. Nah, but you know what they be doing? They be taking videos and then snapping that yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He picture, was getting ready to smile, right. <laughs> but they caught him. The like, picture creates the narrative that they want. Yeah. Oh. He looked like yeah. Shit. He like damn it. <laughs> it's us again. <laughs> No, the only other thing you could try to say that it's not appropriate for her is because the whole, you know, they had just came from a jail, like preaching and, and um, oh. you know what I mean? Like they did a... Came from a jail? Yeah. They went to a prison and had a, what's it called? A... A sermon, like they preach, they pray, like they... Like an outreach thing that you know yes. do when you go to jail. Oh, okay. I think it was in Florida. Yeah. All right. And they... You know, so that was like, oh, you going you trying to be first lady there over here, and then over here. She see error. I'm just trying to tell you that was another uh, angle that people uh, were coming uh, from that, that, because that's the, a reach. It was like yeah. you went from pulpit praying, you know, and all that. Well, well, One day that was the that was the news feed on them, and then literally the next news feed on them was her naked. Well, her dress. I just want them. I just want all those people. I know y'all don't care, but I'm just saying. I just want well, all those not, people. Not, you know, kid, those people are idiots. They're idiots because nudity. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Nudity. I'm started, not mad at you. I'm mad at the them. Bible started with nudity. Hello. Okay. So that would have been my response to those fool birds. <laughs> she was she was just giving it her ease. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That's it. She was even for the night. All right. Now. No leaf. See? There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Anyway, that's my two cents. I tell your I tell your wife that worked for the government she can't wear that. Oh. But, yeah. No. Everybody be trying to, you know, chime in, you know, saying, Oh, this is ridiculous or this and that with these famous people, these celebrities, entertainers. She's a celeb she's an I mean, entertainer. It's an entertaining mean. dress. I've always said they should be treated differently. Yeah. I know it doesn't sound good, but they should. Even when they do wrong, they shouldn't be treated like a normal civilian because they aren't. Yeah, I have friends talking about saying, oh, Sierra's for the streets. Oh, how she going to disrespect Russ that, like that? That's a little rough now. He's with her. They're married. It's not like she with a random dude every exactly. time. You know? It's exactly. not like Jada Pinkett Smith out here sleep. She's uh, like she slept go with Cuz, man. Damn, dog. You always got your name. Because, you man. You took it to the... That ain't the street. She's That's disrespectful. Don't nobody want to say it. No, why, 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 for why she disrespectful, though? He said they was on a break. We were on they a break. They weren't on a break. break. They married. I don't want to hear that break He stuff. said... And when is it okay to sleep? what you're supposed to be using the break for. <laughs> How you going to tell that... How do you tell them? When 
why is it okay to sleep with your son's best friend? Jeez. That part it's not, but I'm saying no, the fact that she did it. That part, that's it. No, that's no, all no. you gotta that's say. I'm saying that part is rough just because it's like, dang, it is your son's homeboy. Why would you go there? Because she but, fell. But, but, but they were on a break though. She's he, a funky dog head. Oh, oh no, no. You brought that one no. back too, didn't you? No, no. it no. is what it is. Let's be real it about it. I don't want to. I don't want to say that. But yeah, I mean, I didn't want to make. Hey, this didn't Demi Moore do something like this? Older and her, uh, so somewhere. And remember when Demi Moore, when she the whole G.I. Ashton? Jane thing or something like, oh, oh so when she was dating Ash, hey, yeah, then she have like a, it don't say Well, they don't care about the white women when the white women do it. Yeah, like some of the white women do it. And I didn't like the idea that they were trying to put her up next to Savannah because Savannah had, yeah, so y'all didn't see the, the dress that Savannah had. Oh, yeah, there's this rolling image of Who's LeBron wife? LeBron's wife. Well, but she's a, again, we talked about it. She was a stay-at-home mom. Oh, she was looking so fly? Was she looking Savannah fly? Savannah had she, something it was a, it was a very, I love No, Savannah. very classy. Oh. I love Savannah. Oh, so they were like, oh, this is class and this is trash. Correct. Oh. Well, Savannah's oh. very, she's a very well, you know, just. Endowed woman, yeah. She's just very, you know, yeah. wholesome. Is she wholesome? Would I mean, a, I don't know her. Would it be a problem if Savannah wore that? No. It would if, be a if, little bit more of an issue. I, I and I also don't think LeBron's letting that go. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? LeBron ain't going Okay, they're married to two different men. <laughs> LeBron's going to so be like... like your mother down here tripping. He ain't nothing. It's, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Mm-mm. Nah. He, you know it wouldn't be a problem, but, but once again, I don't think her man would probably allow that. No. And it's different for different people. It is different and for different people. And that's the thing. People. She knows her man at this point. It is different so, for different people. Yeah, know. if I thought I was marrying somebody else and then she came out of the house like that, I'm like, dang, she got me. Mm. Now she got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You fell for it. You fell I for fell it. For it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. the thing. That image that they took, the one that I saw, he looked like. That's what it made. Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah. Like, he looked like, damn, I'm in the I'm in the sunken place. You can, you can always. Holes. You can take different pictures and say and get a narr- different I know, narrative. I know. But I know. That's messed up. Shout out to Russ, man. His wife, his wife is, she's nice. She's got a. She's nice. She's, I, I'm, I was entertained. <laughs> I mean, he's an entertainer. She got the I, job done. I was entertained. <laughs> Shout out to him. His new contract, his new offensive line. Man, he's doing, he, he, he doing it. Hopefully it works out for him. Didn't look too good last season. Oh. Oh, yeah, no. Well, he I mean. He still got that paycheck, though. He damn sure did. Got a little trophy on his arm, too. Bucket Nicky. Bucket Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all heard, uh, <laughs> y'all heard this, uh, Kaepernick, you know, came out with a book or whatever, and I guess there's an <coughs> excerpt from his book. Y'all know who Ka- Colin Kaepernick is, right? I think so. He, come on, come on. Tim. Where he from? Uh, Colin Kaepernick. Nah. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, nah. come on now. I know who Something he is. I it. know who he is. Oh, okay. You said, like oh, okay. right. I, I forgot, Kira's he from, not here. He from Cleveland, right? No. Oh, actually, I think he is from Cleveland. He grew up no. He grew up in Wisconsin. Oh, okay. Colin Kaepernick was started the whole neo movement. She know who he I is. I know who he Why is. Why you saying Cleveland? Because I I was go- to, trying to be like funny, like uh, oh uh, it's uh, LeBron. No, He's no, from listen. Cleveland, like trying to be. No, but it's okay. I, I sit next to Kara, so you know. <laughs> you gotta let her know everything anyway. He writes a book and he says uh, somewhere in his book, he, you know, he's adopted. You may not have known. Mm, that I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He wrote a book, and somewhere, someone pulled out an excerpt from that book that said, uh, "Man, he said, man, my uh, my adopted parents are racist, mm-hmm. and he said they're racist because they didn't want him to have braids because they were unprofessional." He said they because they said they're unprofessional. There wasn't their wording that that looks unprofessional or something like that, well, wasn't it? Yeah, he said basically. It fell into the stereotype of the look, the that threatening, the threatening look. That of didn't a, make them racist, though. Is that did he write in the book like this is what he thought at the time? He thinks that there were he, racists. or does he still think this? No, nah, he just thinks that he was raised under racist oh. pretenses by people who have racist views. I don't know because view that he, as racist, but I guess it could be. 
so it could be either way because back in the day like black parents didn't want their I was gonna say mine did my, my parents didn't want me to have it either that's what and, I'm saying are my parents racist see Colin it Kaepernick. could be see, it could Kaepernick. be see, shout out to my parents <laughs> They could be. Hey. I don't know. They just. I mean, there was a lot of stigma around around braids, mm-hmm. though. It was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, who, you want to keep your who, child safe, right? And so, who was wearing them? Who was getting, you know, gangster rap That's and all that? It was a lot. Images and I mean, somebody who goes as far as to name their child Justin. You know, they don't want their kid to have <laughs> braids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't want their kid to have braids. Come on, man, like. D'Angelo could have got had braids. D'Angelo definitely could have D'Angelo had braids. D'Angelo definitely could have had some work. Yeah, D'Angelo did have braids. He did. Yeah, shout out to my man D'Angelo. Man. Brown sugar. Uh, but yeah, man, I don't know. I just, I, I'm starting to not believe in the word racist anymore. Because of that? That's kind of weird. Like, let me let me look up the word. Yeah, maybe so, I don't know what it means. So I guess, and what he was trying to say is because his parents didn't want something that fell into a, a stigma that they were racist. But I'm like, I, that, it, I don't think that was the case for it. But you can argue that with everything or anything that someone calls racist. Say that. Yeah. I think that's just one of them things, man. It just depends on the angle you're coming from. Because I can see, see both sides. I don't agree with his stance on this one, but I can see how somebody might be like, oh, you're racist if you feel like a certain look is whatever, whatever. But that's because we live in a racist society. So yeah. it, there are certain stigmas with certain I, looks. I think when you, I think when someone is calling someone a racist, it's more of an indictment on the way that yeah. the other, the person who is saying it feels more than what that person who is doing the racist action is intending. I think that's the problem. You think that's the problem? Yeah, because I do think that's the problem too. You you feel in a certain way, right. it doesn't mean that I that said it a certain way, correct. or I or I mean it this way, or correct. whatever. You know what I mean? That's just how you were interpreting what I said. Correct. But people's feelings are valid, though. No, <laughs> stop. That's not true. Why? Would, no, hold on. People's feelings no. do not be valid. They do be valid, though. You can't help how you feel. Yes, you can. Okay. You can hold control on, hold on. yourself. Hold on, hold on, You can on. say, hold on, even I'm though being that's whatever true, right that now. That doesn't make them valid. Even, even if that was true, it doesn't make them valid. You can be upset all you want, but if a cop come in here and say, this is what's going down, what you going to do? Still upset, though. Sure. Oh. Take it away. Does it make it law? I ain't saying it made it law. But that's how people place the indictment when they say, oh, this is racist based on how they feel. Nah, feelings are not... No. So I think people do it in, I mean, it's a, it's society. I mean, what are you going to do? You can't help it. We're this, trying to figure it out. This says characterized by, character, characterized by or showing prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism against a person or people on the bias of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group. Yeah, I don't see where... Typically, that one is a minority or marginalized. No, so if I'm rooting for the black family or family feud, family feud against the white family... You being racist. I'm a racist. By definition. Or if you're white. Or if you're not even white. You're just rooting for the white family against the black family. You're racist. Hold on. And if because you're, of the and if you're marginalization white, of one and not the other? Oh, yes. Is that why? Yes. On the, because you should be rooting for the minority. No, 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 no. So maybe you're not racist if you're rooting for the black family. But that's what I'm saying. If I'm white, I'm, a, I'm rooting for the black family because they look and they remind me of my family. They look like and they remind me of my family. Yeah. Okay, the white fam- the white person could possibly be but doing the same white thing. White people have got to take into consideration what's been happening and be like, hmm, I would like to root for people that look like me, <laughs> but that's not a good idea. I'm not going to root for anybody. That's because they always been rooting for them and it, ne- and it went badly Ooh, when they did it. They, don't. I they mean, got to go out of their way to not be considered racist. I don't feel yeah, sorry do. for them. I'm just saying. I don't really feel bad for them. They have to do I don't feel sorry for them. I'm just saying. That's, I don't either. But I don't, like, I don't like people crying wolf when it's that's wolf. My, that's my I issue. I don't like that. Well, oh, like don't saying cry, racism when it's yeah, not. Yeah, don't yeah. cry wolf for a chihuahua. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like, don't like that. I don't like yeah, Because it waters down the actual... Yes. 
No, no, no. That's that's fair. That's with anything, though. That's, that's always, not that's just a, racism. That's just you know what bothers sexism. me too. Sexism. That's everything. When people be putting the uh, ghetto tag on stuff, like, oh, that's ghetto. I don't like that either. That boy, <laughs> that gets underneath my skin. <laughs> it really does. Because I'd be like, man, shut up. In my head, but I don't say that to nobody. All right, I I feel like I have an opinion on this. <laughs> it's it. Because I be trying to figure out, <clears throat> I think there's a difference between being ghetto. Oh, man. And being ghetto and being hood. Let me say this. Okay. I just don't like the act of, of it all because whatever you call in somebody... It just is, it gives me the idea that you got your nose up to them and they're beneath you. And you shouldn't Same treat anybody like thing. that. Okay. That's what I that's what I don't like about it. You know what I'm saying? You can have your feels about whoever, as do I. But I don't need to place no tag on them. The problem is, you know is what I mean? the problem is, is that we put negative stereotypes on labels. And though although labels can be accurate, like something can just be ghetto, bro. That's true. Or somebody can just be corny but that's true that don't necessarily mean that it's a bad you know what i'm saying it's a yeah. bad oh you know what first of all there's literally no negative connotation in being a nerd none if but you think about it, it the, you know why because it came from people who aren't who smart, smart. Who were smart yeah. who and were and who needed were, a way who to, inferior yeah, and to needed a way to and so yeah we're gonna make them you know what i'm saying yeah there's nothing wrong with being a nerd You're being a nerd so what like, right. there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? So, But on the flip side, it worked because the nerd <laughs> felt like they were inferior right, right. to this guy exactly. or whoever because they were probably cooler. They done something, man. The names, names and I don't know. Haves and have nots. I think we need to teach our children that there's nothing wrong with being yourself. Period. Oh, Whatever man. label that is. Man, who no, you telling? No, nah, for real. I no, think it's the successful it's, nerds, the successful bullies. It's imperative. They're successful, you know. Oh no! Nah. I'm about to, no, no, it's not successful. One of those successful bullies. No, no, the bullies. There was something coming out of that. I'm okay. Just let that go. I can't work no other way. Successful pedophiles. Oh no! <laughs> Rapists. I knew it was something like that. Nothing criminal. Okay. Oh, okay. You don't want. You don't want to get into nothing criminal. <clears throat> but you know, as long as there's a path for you to. Everybody's an individual. Everybody's an individual. You know, and, and I feel okay. like the only way you, you will find a passion in life or be successful or happy in life doing what you like or something that connects with you is being allowed to be yourself. Nowadays, with the Internet and the acceptance of everything, now is the time to be yourself, to be yourself bro. You got to allow yourself to be yourself. You can't wait for other people to allow you to be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're getting bullied, sometimes that comes with the territory. It does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that does. Yeah, you know, don't. You still gotta, be, you gotta have the courage to stand cry, in who you are. Don't cry wolf, grow fangs. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. That, that, that's my that's my theory on being bullied. That's just me. That's just me personally. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. I. It's very. Um. Having a child that's not as um maybe mm -hmm. aggressive as uh, you would be right. or something mm -hmm. is very hard right you can't make them do anything you're not there with them all the time but aggression is not the only way to deal with it even having a response to it right. it's the mute for me right 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 right. having nothing to say uh right. or right. in response it's 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 scary because on top of that you realize that their child their child right now and then one day they're going to be an adult. And you're like, man. Are they prepared? Yes. Are they going to let this world kick their ass? Like they got to learn, gonna too, though. That's a part of adolescence. Yeah, and that's what it I'm saying. Is. That's, <clears throat> that's a part of it. You got to learn. That's what I'm saying now. Like, a schoolyard bully thing is something minimal in comparison to how they deal with things throughout, throughout life. We talked about this before. Bill Gates probably wouldn't have been a millionaire if he didn't get bullied. Mm. It depends on how, but well, he was able he was bullied, to, though. well, I don't know if this is true, but most people in those situations spend their bully, they, they use it as fuel Correct. to be like, Correct. for all you who shitted on me, and this is what I'm doing yeah. now. I'm okay with that. I, 
I'm just people people who pause or stop or seem like they can't they move the bully forward. Don't know what to do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the bullying stop them from moving forward. I'd whatever. rather the bullying uh, make you angry enough to put your energy into yeah. something else. That's that's okay. Well, with me. I think if it happens, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it takes longer for some people than others, but some people gotta learn how to deal with it. You yeah. Know, one way or another. Speaking of that, and our parents, uh, I, I was thinking about this the other day too, because you know our parents are the ones that told us. And we can be anything. That's a fact. When we grow up, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they started this. You can be anything you want. If you put your mind to it. Okay. I just think it's ironic that all these kids now are having identity issues. Uh, was walking around saying, I want to be a girl. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but now, we, but now we like, hold on. <laughs> but now we like, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 can't no. Be that. No, mom and dad. No, no, no. <laughs> you said I can be anything I want. Uh, hmm? Huh? Huh? Uh? I think when we were getting taught that, they were telling us, like, profes- oh, profession-wise and, and that type of thing. I don't think they were saying... You know I know what? what they meant. You can select a gender or a species that you would like to be. <laughs> species. No, nah, I mean, species is real. Mammals no, is real. No, for real. So I don't think they were saying that to nah, us. I know that. I'm just. And I don't know. If, I'm just being funny. I'm just. I don't know how I would deal with that. Like if my, my child was like, I want to be a cat. I'm a cat. You must address me as a cat. I'm a spanker. I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> for real. For real. That's it. Straight spanking, dog. No words. You go spank. Nah, you can get bullied at home. Put it over the knee. That's it. Say you want to be a cat again. <laughs> Meet you with these daddy paws. Yeah. I don't know what. I don't know what I would do. <sighs> Yo, first cat. of all, I see why Bamas used to get out. Parents used to use spankings back in the day. <laughs> it's something like that. Like I just don't even have a word. Spanking, spanking is the. I don't know how to parent this. I'm going to just beat you. Like, <laughs> I negative like, connotation. You know I don't, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just now that we parents and we running this and our kids are growing up, like, there's things that you you don't, like, you can't practice for. Like, you can't prepare for. I mean, that's parents. You that's know what I'm saying? Like, period. you don't know yeah. how to. You got life, the society is yes. not the same as Bruh. when we it came up. It's not, it's Lord different. have mercy. And, you know, and. In all defense, though, of the people who came before us, my mother said to me, I think it was like a month ago, she was like, man, I respect y'all so much because y'all dealing with stuff. I'm trying to tell I you. didn't have to deal with <laughs> man, at all. Bro. The conversations she hears me have with them and stuff like that, she's like, y'all deal with stuff. I, I didn't have to deal with I didn't have to deal with and this. Grandparents nowadays, they don't even want to watch, the, they don't even want to watch our kids. They're like, you know what? Mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> All of them aren't like that. And I don't blame them. Nah, it's a lot of them. <laughs> it is a lot. It is a, a lot. lot of them. And they're like, no, 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 no. Them ain't kids. Them something else. You was getting out. Nah, I, 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 I feel them on that a little bit. Because it's like, I don't know what to do, bro. It's, it's a very unique situation with these kids. Just be a grandparent. Oh, social media uh, is ruining. Just make rules. Just be like, look, I don't know what you do at home, but when you come over here, put that phone down. Done. And I imagine you saying the grandparents should do that. Yes. What we what we gonna do? What, yeah. As a parent, we gonna be like, yeah, what the kid gonna do? You well, gotta you follow know, the rules. You what you're talking about. You know that's not true. They say things that we didn't say back then. Oh, uh, that's true. Who says the, the kids? kids? That's true. To the grandparents? To everybody. Oh. They are so much more expressive now. They say things. They're not as respectful. We do, we know that is one of the characteristics. It depends on the parents and yeah. the kids. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm obviously, there's one off. But I'm saying the ma- overall, overall, I see what you're they're saying. a little more bolder than you think so. I mean, yeah. yeah, I know they are, but I'm saying they. You feel like they are more disrespectful to the grandparents. You don't think kids nowadays are more disrespectful than how than what just it in was? general? Yeah, yeah. I think there is a little the kids nowadays are a little a lot more disrespectful to their yeah. elders. I period. think the line yeah, of respect the has did like this. Yes. Correct. Um, be, just, so there's more room for them to yeah. because there's this just stuff like you know like you said the um game you were at and the kids were just cussing and carrying on and you know oh, in our yeah. day like we if we got caught and yeah. we didn't even know the older lady and we'd be like oh 
I cussed in front of Miss Shirley. You yeah, you know man. you you were sensing they yourself. Did kid. Them kids didn't care at all. When I didn't, it didn't even have to be a Miss Shirley. If it was any adult, any adult yeah, that's what I like, said. Man, no, I that's what adult was, Miss yeah. Shirley. Oh, I'm saying Miss Shirley. You know who Miss Shirley is. You oh no, I was I was using that example sad, as a right. oh. as an. Uh, it was uh, a older. high school game, but oh. and they, I mean they were high school kids. Okay, that's a little different. Some of them, some of them were like middle school kids, just up there. Cursing and carrying on. They was yeah. in the game? No, no, no. On the in the bleachers. You know. Behind the parents, you know. Just like, acting a fool. Yep. Going for it. To high the school. point where high all school. the adults there were like, damn, like, come on. I, I mean, you know how it is when it's not it your was kid. Bad, bad though. It was just unnecessarily bad. Right. right. And on you top know, of that, they extra. excessive. It was just like, dang. Dang. Like, you even I, I, I'm not even like, I don't consider myself a normal adult. And even I was like, Man, come on, y'all. Right. Like, come on, come on. Like, why? It, we he walked in on our son on FaceTime with one of his friends. Um, and he was on oh, he was yeah. the flip farm, flip flip. Oh yeah. Flip, Just flip. for no reason. And I it, mean, it, but kids do that. Though. I know, kids but he didn't that. But like, John, it, but John, that won't you the cuss didn't even Was that you? At that age? Was that you at that age? Nah. I wouldn't be on the phone. Like, if there was any chance... Don't forget of, I was there. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> if there was any chance of getting caught... Right, right. I'm okay. not doing it. I see your point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they just be, like you said, it, yeah. they don't care. He they on don't. the phone. You don't know who's, who's around. around. Nothing. They don't be thinking about that. You know what I mean? Oh, they, they, they going for it. I mean, SOBs. Yeah, and, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not mine. No. On the, the phone. I, the, I, I, I didn't even know friend. how to curse that good back then. <laughs> oh, they was going for it. Well, he was going for it. He was for going it. for oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you was, say something to the kid? I did. You said something well, to the kid. My son was like, he thought it was hilarious. He was like, oh, he you know my dad here, right? <laughs> and then the kid was like, oh. Oh, okay. Hey, Mr. Gary. Oh, right, right. So what you say? What you say? I was just like, I think I said something to him, like, man, uh, your parents know you talking like that. Something, something mm-hmm. along them lines, and he was like, no. And I was like, come on, man, you got to do better. And he was like, okay. Right. And then right. I, I left the room, but I came back and I heard him in there, like, still going for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he was, you know, directing to my son, like. How you gonna do me like that, you little son? <laughs> you know, he was going, oh my goodness! My son was sitting there cracking up because <laughs> he knew I had came back. Right? He right. was like, "He's still here." <laughs> <laughs> hey man, look, you're gonna have to chill out on the words, man. My dad is, you know, man. He know how that boy is. Yeah. So it's crazy. I find myself to be the parent to like say something. Do you allow her to cuss? Absolutely not. Okay. I now 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 I will <laughs> now I will say this. And my daughter, you know, my daughter's <laughs> in high school now. So I understand that certain things are certain things, but there are certain times where she is on the internet. Mm. Certain things come up and you know, she playing stuff. Daddy, listen to this. And I'd be like, I no, we're not doing this right now. Like what's wrong? This is not funny. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think because that's funny. of the language. Because of the language. The content. Okay. And I'll just be like, just hold on, just turn that off for a second. And I don't know what to do. Uh, I'd be like, all right, wait a minute. I don't feel like listening to this, or um, yeah, just I don't feel like doing this right now. Is it because it's it's her? Like it's coming from your kid? Man, sometimes to be honest with you, my my kid it seems like she doesn't have the reverence. And needed, right? So mm-hmm. she don't do it, and she knows she don't do it. Mm-hmm. I've never heard her do it, or mm-hmm. seen her, or heard of her doing it. Mm-hmm. But she's okay with everybody else doing it, and so she just, you know, whatever. Like, so That's we have the world she lives so in. we just have certain things, right? So on days we are supposed to be uh, honoring the Sabbath, okay, she does not. We don't allow for certain things, okay. You can be on your phone, no social media. All right. None of them video, none of that stuff. Yeah, you can't. You can listen to music, but we listening to this type of music. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she will be on, you know, these sites and doing stuff and show me. I'm like, no, mm mm. Uh, we not, we not doing it. And I understand you got to sit through church and it's not. 
necessarily uh, what you want to do, but you're not gonna sit on church and, and church be on right in, Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. You know, if you want to play solitaire, fine, but <laughs> you can't just be in here. On, absolutely yeah, not. I feel dog. what you're saying. So, but she doesn't understand. She like, oh, she's like, why? Like, what's the problem? Yeah, I mean, she knows that I don't. I yeah, I I just struggle with letting her know. Like, look, I don't want to hear nothing that has that type of language or such such such, which isn't true because I don't care. But because it's coming from her, correct? Ha. <sighs> yeah. So, I mean, you know, but like I said, <clears throat> we all learning. Yeah, we're I all learning you. as parents. I, I, you know I what feel saying? you in the discomfort. Of I'm it. I'm the type of parent <laughs> who will say something to other kids about stuff if it happens in my presence. I don't let it slide. That's what I'm saying. That's I'm I'm that person. I don't care if it's my kids or not. I I'll, I'll revert back to the parents. You know what I mean? Like if they doing something, I'd be like, oh, so you your folks cool with this, right? You know what I mean? And that'll determine. That'll let me know. What type of house they coming from? I'm going to just keep it real with Typically. you. Typically. I don't care. And my conversation is this. Look, I don't know what you do at home, but when you, when you, when, when, when you, you hear this, what that's we do. This is what we're doing here. That's I mean, what, that's, that's fair. That teaches them boundaries and respect. Correct. So I don't have a problem with that at all. I don't think that's a bad thing. Yeah. I'm wondering what I would have done at that game, though, if I was there. And if any, if I knew or recognized any of them kids. I wonder if I, if I would have So said, there was a lady there mm-hmm. that that does she she knows these kids you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and so she said like first she kept looking back there and i think she was kind of like dang like i think she might be a, a teacher or something yeah at the school and, and i think they she was know disappointed. she's a teacher i think right, she was disappointed the kids know that she too. was just like she kept looking back there like come on y'all do better then it got to a point where she had to say something and so she spotted one and she was like darnell rollins <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was like huh Right. I Sorry, Miss So and So. I know your mother. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, yeah, you know, and then they kinda chilled out for a little bit. You the know kids I mean? just be having fun though. They just need to know I don't think none of them kids was bad. They just need to be that fun and that energy needs to be directed. You gotta know where you are. Yeah. Know your surroundings. surroundings. You know and, what I mean? You can't just that. be They don't care. No, nah, they don't. But the the thing is, they don't have the same level of punishment that we had. No, yeah. that's what I said. Beatings are just, <laughs> just beatings are outlaws now. She's not outlaws. You, you, you can't know. beat nobody now. That's what that's yeah, what kept the, it, kids. It, it's it's the beating thing. It that took a I lot of. I don't want to beat nobody. Like who wants to beat on somebody? I got you, but everybody doesn't deserve to be beat. Some people do. Some, some kids, people. come on now. I mean, sometimes you have your wits in with your kids and you're like, this is the only way these little niggas go. And here's the thing. But like, I mean, at the same time, you don't want, like. I disagree. We, we don't want. I disagree. And I, uh, there's nothing wrong with you. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, to do it like that. <laughs> when you are. I know. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just saying I disagree. Pish posh. So I understand your empathy and I understand your the thought process of saying, I don't want to beat on nobody. Yeah. <clears throat> we are raising kids who are going to live in a society where there are punishments worse than beatings, jail, um, violence, gun violence, whatever the case and may be. And you're saying a beating is going to prevent you from going to jail? That shit ain't work back then. What I'm saying is, <laughs> I mean, who knows? Who knows? That's what I'm saying. Like, what I'm saying is the kids are wilder nowadays because they feel like there's not something... That could be done to them on a level that a beating was provide. I think, in it's my just, opinion, I think it's a lack. What are you gonna of, do? Take away their fault? Well, actually, that would actually do it. I that think works. it's a lack of that fear and works. a lack of respect. Yeah, and I don't that. like the fear part of it because I don't want kids to. I want kids to be fearless. Mm-mm. But I want you to be fearless with respect. You know what I'm saying? Like. They don't respect nobody or nothing. I yeah. think you can be fear. I, for, I think fear is a very appropriate feeling. I mean, yeah, everybody. I, I want people. I want my child to know what fear is. And I everybody want to, knows what fear well, is. You, well, what do you mean when you say you don't want you don't want you want your child to be fearless? I don't want I don't want them to allow be fear to scary. diminish them. Yeah, to be scary or you know like you know, stop them in their just a path scary and individual. Yeah. yeah, you're not saying you don't ever want them to be scared of anything. What? There's a car. 
Yeah, no, right. I'm not saying that. That's right. dumb. Right. That's no, not that's fearless. Dumb. But that's okay. not fearless. Yeah, that's I don't like... want them to be ignorant. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I just. I'm not a fan of using the fear tactics to get your way with stuff. I'd rather you show them what it is, what it is, and why you don't want certain things to happen, or why certain things can happen that can hurt them, so that they respect whatever that is and be like, you know what? I'm not going to put my hand on fire because it's going to burn. Like the consequences. Not, I'm not going to put my hand on my fire because I'm scared of my mother or my father. So you ever think about the idea that a child who you've loved, nurtured, cared for, fed, protected, and done everything for, mm-hmm. in an instance, because you've done something that because this person who does this and I know who I trust the most, I've disappointed so much that this is the feeling that I invoke. Not necessarily the fear of the pain, but just the idea that this you don't person. Wanna disappoint that I don't want to disappoint or, that person. And okay. if and if this person has gotten to the point where they are, but that's be, you can you cannot want to. You understand? You understand, I understand what, what you're saying? I'm saying you you're cannot want to disappoint something. that person out of admiration and respect. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. As I got older, mm-hmm. obviously age plays a. a apart mm-hmm. but as i got older that's what it was more so about for me as far as how my parents raised me it was like dang you know what i admire what they've been able to do with what they've had mm-hmm. in me where mm-hmm. i fit into all of mm-hmm. that i don't want to do that mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying not because i was like man i'm scared of what my parents are gonna do or what they're gonna think or because what i don't gonna... want the other side of that scares thing is they can get into situations in life as an adult as and they can be scared to come to us and that's something i cannot live with yes i'd rather you I, come to me and let we go we a family we gotta we i'm here to help you you gotta know i'm here to help you water with. i'm here and so the fear is, is a, if you yes. act out of fear, you're more likely to stop what you're doing and not ask for help or guidance. And because, hide it from your parents. Or, because of the fear. Yeah. But well, if it's just out of disappointment. How do you, you know that? I've done it. Okay. I've lived it. So, what, uh, so, uh, uh, so I understand your point. The only, the only feedback or drawback I have is you're saying it like that is... The baseline thing for everybody who is faced with fear. No, no, no. You understand no, no, what I'm no, saying? No, no. I understand and what you're saying. And I can think that goes back to my point where mm-hmm. when I'm saying everybody or every kid doesn't deserve to be beat. Yeah, it's. it's you it's, understand what I'm saying? It, it's different. There shouldn't, you, you, there's no cookie cutter way to raise an individual child. Mm-hmm. And there's no template. There's no, yeah, right. Right. yeah. But yeah. what I'm saying is the art. We we'll call it an art. <laughs> the, the art of, of beating. The art of flogging. <laughs> oh, flogging. Wait a minute. We don't flogging? like flog. Flogging sound kind of. Is that sexual? Yeah, that's sound that kind of. Oh, I don't think you want to go there. You know what I mean? We're going to cut that out. We're going to cut that out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the art of disciplining, physically disciplining your child. Let's do that. What do they call it? Corporal punishment? Corporal punishment. I mean, you know, they do it in the military. They, I'm for. Uh, nah, they stopped it in the military. See, I'm for. That's why other armies um, are better than ours now. That's why we, <laughs> so that's that's why we lose it. That's why now, we lose it. I'm for like, uh, I guess what's that strategic, where you have to like make them drained, like mentally or maybe mm. physically draining themselves. You know. Um, I got you. Maybe yard work or something like that. Yeah, like they only yeah. can cut grass with scissors. Yeah, something you know, like yeah. you know, yeah. draining them. There are other way. ways. Of, there are other ways of doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, they got to clean I the floor with a toothbrush. Something you know, like you know, those type of things yeah, that are art. Ain't gonna solve and, the problem. And based on what I said earlier, I will admit that beating is the lazy way of doing it. It's a it quick. Is, it's it a is quick, the lazy it is a quick way. fix. It's a it quick, quick fix. fix. Yeah. And and you don't address the issue most most likely. Well, you can you after the fact. A lot of times when we were getting beat, we weren't getting I, I you know, you weren't getting addressed of why this happened. It was because I told you not to do something. And you did it anyway. And you're getting a beat. That should be enough though. I, I mean, no, because the why matters. You want them to understand. But I don't know. I think about myself, and this just could be me. I was smart enough to know why and stuff. Right. right I just right, did it anyway, right. and I got what was coming to me. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't, you know. Yeah. Ah, 
I don't yeah. know, man. I, I just think it's just different. I just I yeah, it's it's cool. Like if you don't if you don't beat your kids, you don't beat your kids. If you do, don't tell nobody because apparently <laughs> nah, don't tell nobody. No, nah, you can't nah, tell you, nobody because you can't, you can't do it nah, no more. Man, it's but that's upon. what I'm saying. Like the option to do something like that has been completely taken off. Just based on society, which is something else. That's because you give people a rope and most likely they'll hang themselves. So you have people beating kids with objects and racetracks okay, and but making not, them what, sit in alcohol baths. Are we not baths. smart enough to know Obviously that not, there's a difference between got, discipline and abuse? Ob- okay, Obviously then, then let's not. prosecute those parents. Like We know that that's absurd. Like. So what happens is you have to put something in place that's good for if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Yeah. You so can't don't, you don't can't, beat nobody. That, you gotta, everybody keep their hands to themselves. Okay, so yeah. now we got kids that are worse and we got less options at our disposal. You gotta get creative. <laughs> that's what you're saying. As gotta, a parent, yeah. you gotta get creative. What's the most important thing? We can't thing be lazy them. no more, like you said. We gotta be creative. Take this away. Whatever they care about, take it away. Yeah, but too. now you got to give them that at a younger that age. Too. You got to give them that at a younger age. Well, you got to do what you say. Just keep your mouth shut about it. I think people are getting beaten. You just don't know it. Right. Yeah. I know a few people that beat their kids. So, so anything under a bruise, we're good. Anything less than a bruise, we're good. As long as it's not a bruise that can be seen. Yeah, and who wants to beat their child to the point of bruising anyway? Some people well, do, right. and that's Some the problem. Right. That was the problem. Yeah, you are right. Yeah, yeah you got to understand, you got people who shouldn't have kids raising them. Man, so, listen, yeah. me... Personally, I, I, I'm, I'm soft with my kids now. Yeah. I'm super soft. Yeah. Compared to what I got, That's I just can't do it. Yeah. I can't. I, think I try to discipline them. You know, I, I, I will discipline them and, you know, do what needs to be done. But I just can't beat them like that. Yeah. I don't think I ever get upset to the point with my child that I want. You know, I get upset with my child when I get when I get scared. Oh. We went bike riding and I, she rides in front of me. Mm. We're, we're riding in the bike lane, obviously on the street. You know how that is. Mm-hmm. Which is, you know, it's dangerous. So it can be dangerous. So we make sure she wears her gear, whatever the case may be. We're riding. She sees a snake in the bike lane. Okay. What do you think she does? She swears out of the bike lane. Into the street. Oh, oh, no. Into the street. Now, luckily, there was no car coming. Yeah, but still. But the thought, I'm pretty sure that. I don't, I, I, I don't do well either no, when I they go into the street. I Kirk out. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, dog, I lost my mind. She was like, dang. What, what's, I mean, it was a snake. What did you want me to do? Stop. I don't care. Run over it. <laughs> kiss it. I don't care. We don't do, go don't, out into don't danger. Don't ever. More danger. Don't ever, we going home. That's it. No more bike ride yep. today. That's it. That sounds That's about it. right. you don't want to do this. But, Clearly. That sounds about right. right now, I, now, again, I'm not going to beat her in a situation like that, but I had to sit. But even when yelling like that, I felt like, hey, maybe I was a little harder. I had to explain to, like, sit down and explain, hey, look, like, yo, daddy was scared. Right now. And this is why I was scared. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. There's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah. But um, what I'm saying is every parent doesn't do that. Man, so. that's soft. No. That's not even soft. I'm about to kidding. say. That ain't but soft. no, what I'm saying is I say that I'm soft because I, in comparison to. To our parents. Yes. Because, man, listen. Yeah. It was a, it was yeah. a whole different thing. Now, for me, <laughs> I only got beans when I didn't listen. That's it. I mean, yeah. Like things I did. Kids don't listen at all. But that's, we are that's a tendency of kids. Them. That is right, what kids do. Right, it is. Exactly. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, you only got one when you didn't listen. If I went by that. <laughs> but that's how you know, that's how you know beating them all the time. We've beating them all day, them every all day. I don't think so. But as they I get, get if older. You beat it, if you beat them. Then as they, they get, get older, what? We, oh, we, we learn different strategies that affect them more. Oh, I thought because you said they they get, listen. As I they get like, older, <laughs> they be uh, more, uh, what you call it, attached to different things. They oh, become yeah. more attached. And no, that's when you be like, oh, huh, guess what? You right. don't want to listen? It's mine now. Yeah. And that affects them enough to be like, all right, I got to listen because I want this. So You guys have convinced me. That's what convinced me. No, because that is how I think that's how my parents were raised with beatings. And I think as I got older, they started to learn 
that way as well. Like as Yo, you talk to my mother now. She admit like I ain't really, I didn't know what I. Now I think I got the greatest mother in the world. Right. But she will admit, yo, mm-hmm. I had to learn things on the fly because you know. I mean, I think that's all parents. Though, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Extent. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I know kids that got the hell beat out of them, and it didn't help nothing. Yeah, no. You just know what I'm saying? So violent. I think it just depends. It just made them violent. But you that's gotta do more than just right. beat though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the other part of it. I don't want them to to choose violence. Not like that. You know what I mean? But how do we get here? Parenting. Damn, how did we get here? I have a question. All right, what's the question? Questions, questions, questions. What movie or show makes you cry or get emotional? Like you watch it and you're like, oh, that's easy. It, it touches it like oh man. I got three, I, I got know. three right now. I'm gonna let somebody else go. I, you know, it just... I got one off top. Interstellar. Okay, Interstellar. What was that about? about With down. the daughter, when oh. he went. Oh man! Oh, look, oh look that was him. the one he had to go back in time. Or... He kind of had look. to go hey, to the future. He had to go to the future. This but then come, but come, kind of come back in time to. He went to the future, but found a way to message his daughter. When she was young, and she had to figure it out because he couldn't talk to her. He could only, like, signal her. Oh, okay. And she ended up figuring out whatever it was to save him and humanity. Oh, okay. Mm. That Man. Was- but he had to sacrifice pretty much his whole, like, life to do that. Oh, okay. It was a thing where, like, the earth was about to be done. Uh-huh. Resources dried up and everything, and he I've had to go it. sacrifice himself instead of being like, "Well, I'm gonna just spend out the rest of my days here with my family, whatever." He was Oof. like, "I gotta leave my six, seven, eight year old child." You know what I'm saying? Who's in that? Who's and his child was like his buddy. I'm about to look it up, <laughs> man. Who? Is that Kevin Costner? No, no, that's um, what's my man, Christian Bale? No, not Christian Bale. What's the other dude? We're gonna find out. Uh, right now. He did the drink when he got skinny. He got real skinny. Lincoln Lawyer. What's oh, his name? Oh, Matthew McConaughey. No. No, was that on, him? Hold on. Oh, that's not him? I think Matthew that? McConaughey. It was him. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Anne Hathaway was in there. Anne Hathaway. That was his daughter as an mm-hmm. adult, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. The butler from wow. Batman was in the joint. He was his father, I think. Wow. <laughs> think I would not true. have. Did you know that? What, the Interstellar? Uh, yeah. No, that oh, was new to me. I'm just like, huh. What's yours? I don't, I'm I'm a waterhead, so I really don't. What does that mean? Anything emotional. So I'm like, oh, anything you know, that's anything? like, oh, anything like, that's like, um. Oh, you, remotely. Well, no, no, it, it, it's not like anything, right? But a lot of things that come, like, um, there was a show on Netflix. It was called Scratch, From Scratch. Okay. And there was a girl, um, she got married. I was good. You know, they had a lot of ups and downs. They showed the relationship. I was good until the husband died. Oh. And I, I, I was wasn't it. no good after that. I was. I'm, 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 I'm a sucker for, first of all, to answer your question, the movie Saving Power Ryan. Hmm. I don't know if I've seen that all the way through. Saving Private Ryan. First of all, almost any war movie. Let me just because I was any I'm about to say Miracle of Saint Anna does the same thing. To me. <laughs> Miracle of Saint Anna, okay. Miracle of Saint Anna, that's a Spike Lee. That's yeah, a Spike Lee yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. That one, uh, uh, Saving Private Ryan, um, some other war movies, but there's like a formula for me. Mm. Oh, any Pixar thing too? Yeah, anything? I don't know what Pixar has going on. But any, pretty much all of their movies, they tug. Yeah. They yeah. tug pretty hard. Yeah, anything with a daughter running <laughs> into the arms of her father. <laughs> I, that's it. You're oh, done. I'm done. He had to pretty much watch his daughter die. Nah, I can't. Nah. Mm-mm. I ain't doing that. Because he went to another galaxy where time was different than here. So, so she would have existed it was there. slower. It was slower. So while everybody was aging here, it was like a year here was only like 
a day there. So he was still oh, young when he wow. came back. And his daughter was like oh. 97. Oh, yeah. that's. But the- at the same time, he was able to get like video signal of the Her whole life. time. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what but was it going on. Like two weeks. Yes. Damn. Dog. That's crazy. That's yeah. So great. You know when they be doing like the Bamas in the military and they be surprising the families? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom, y'all. I ain't watching that. <laughs> Cause that that literally automatically results. And you know what's and another one? To the arms. You know another one that got me a little bit. What's the joint? Uh, Toby Maguire uh-huh. and um, Jake Gyllenhaal when he went over Damn. military joint. He He's got caught. brothers. 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 At the called? end, when he was he was going he was losing it. Yeah. And he was like he was like. Like I, don't, I, I, he, he, he couldn't control himself. <laughs> he was just like, I'm, I'm out of my mind. He realized it, and he was just looking at his brother like Jake Gyllenhaal. He just wanted some mind. help. No, Toby McGuire. Oh, I don't even like him, but he played that role. Jake Gyllenhaal is usually the guy who plays the guy. But out it of his sucked mind. though because he went over to wherever mm-hmm. they got caught. He, he, they caught him. Taliban. Whatever. Oh, it's a war movie. Yeah. Oh, I gotta watch this. <laughs> he was a uh, what they call it, a prisoner of war. Boy, yeah. 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 He, he yeah. fought his way back. Yeah. Like he, they, they, they thought he was dead. Honestly, like they thought he was dead. Like they tortured him over that joint. They made him kill his one of his people in his little platoon. Then he had to watch other people get killed. All this other stuff. Then he ended up getting free, making it back. They thought he was dead. Right. Yeah whole time his brother kind of he was just look, he was just looking he was after the look family, out for his family because he, he had a wife and, and the some, wife and, I some, and some daughters his wife kind of got a little soft on the brother you know what i'm saying yeah and so he comes back to this and then you he know flipped out they got a daughter right yeah it was all good he you know noticed little stuff but it was all good until the daughter says something at the dinner table like, well, I mean, Uncle Joey spends the night all the time or something like that. And he was just like. I went through all this to come back to this. Yes. And that's what he said when he was losing it. Yes. He did say that. He, he was like, was like do you know what I went through to get back to you? <laughs> and you over here with him? He did Nobody knew. <laughs> nobody nobody knew. Yeah, it's like it's not anybody's fault. Exactly. This is like, fault. damn. Yeah, that's you know, no, and the a, brother wasn't a bad guy at all. It wasn't like he was like. It just happened. Yeah. It's just a. It just happened. When you share trauma like that with somebody, yes. like something, like, stuff like that can but happen. All in all, this guy had to come back to this right after dealing with all that, and then wrap his mind around all and of it, that. And, what you and, just said, and like and having PTSD of yes. um, being over there, like. The, no, the joint. I'm my mind. It, the joint comes to the head. I've never even end. heard of this. No, I gotta watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch this, dog. I've never. He was at that joint, like I don't know what to do. Like I'm just, I'm out of my mind right now. Yeah, he, he was about to kill himself. Yeah, he was. And his brother had to talk him down. But this is the same guy movie. that's. It's like an hour and forty five minutes. That's yeah. that was, was good. That's great. No, that's a good. It's a good joint, man. Okay, mm. all right, okay. I'm gonna add it. You know, it's a uh, war film too, so you know that's right up my alley. Yeah, I saw that joint. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm just becoming soft <laughs> as I get older. Like, no, you're, I mean, you're just yeah. you're just in touch with your emotions. Yeah, there are certain and movies have... that I don't want to name right now. Like, oh, name them, <laughs> please name them. Oh, you know what else? Um, the joint um, with my man. What do you want? Oh, the notebook. The notebook. Oh, okay. Oh, everybody's sweet on that movie. Yeah. Though. I've never seen it, though. So, oh, how you okay. say everybody's sweet on it? Because I hear. No. I, oh. it's not, you're like the 19th person. Yeah. Oh. Um, you know, a show I had to stop watching. And it was a great show, but I just refuse. Because the directors and the producers of this show, <laughs> they're doing it on purpose. What? This is what they want. It was show. like, yo, let's find a way to pull this out. That's of how it. I feel about Pixar. So I'll be ready for it. I don't I don't be ready. It, all the time it Y'all hit ready? me. Y'all ready? This is us. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I ain't here for that. I'm done with yeah, that. Yeah, they joint. do. Do they ain't. pull? What are you doing? I saw yeah. the first episode and I was like, nope, nope. No, and I did this. this. Like, I was like, he always no. hit me with the, this. Is entertaining to you? This is this is what you like. You want to go through this? this yes. Is what you yes. Like? I'm saying, I don't know. I don't I'm like. And what she's is like, it? yes. Is it good? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself? Right, this is not. Who? <laughs> you was, know this is coming. This is not what you watch TV. That should not be what you watch TV for. It's a good sh- like the storyline uh, is still I good. It. I get it, but it's not worth my my energy. Nah. It ain't worth my energy. <laughs> well, shout out to the whoever. Y'all did great. <laughs> Y'all did It was a good storyline. It really was. Yeah, so I'm a little bit of a waterhead, so it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of well, what, things. What's, what's like the, the thing what that is the really, one? really gets you? I don't know. I, anything. Shoot. Uh, I don't she's like, no, all I don't think you understand. Name it. Thing. All of it. <laughs> Name it. No, so I've you don't got, have one that no, affects I've, you more than the rest of no, it. No, no. I've gotten like... Harder in these streets. Let me say this. No. I used to cry at every single thing. Right? Every single thing. Mm-hmm. Now it's more limited to like kid stuff. Like a kid. I, not kid mm-hmm. stuff, but yeah. like. Yeah. Something involving a kid. Mm-hmm. Something where like, like a. a yeah. Something. A tragedy with a child. I agree. And then like. A husband or something or a spouse hey, dying. Shout out to Sports Center. They be doing them joints with the little kids. Be having the little cancer joints and then, oh man, them joints right there. I'm like, oh, the, and the kids they be making it and you got to go to a football game. Dog, hey, I'm gonna send y'all one. I, I guarantee y'all. He I won't guarantee. Watch it. I ain't watch Why it. you ain't watching it? No, you got to watch it. Come on. Yeah, so those you don't are watch like, nothing. Like, I tell you to like, watch. Like, like, like what you said about the like the army coming home. <laughs> The, I'm okay yeah. with like spouse and stuff. I can watch yeah, that. That's yeah. fine. But, but the when kids. the kids see their parents mm-hmm. and they're like, "Damn!" Yeah, I'm yeah. like, "Oh yeah. my god!" That's too much. Uh, yeah, that's too much. Uh, you know, so that that, that, those, much, yeah, dog. those mm. are emotional. Yeah, that was a good question. I like that one. That was. I got I a scenario for you. <laughs> oh. All right, this is a quick one. This is, this is a uh, throwback to the Bathroom Chronicles. I was just about to say I missed the Bathroom <laughs> It's not really a uh, story, but it's a scenario, like I said. Would you All rather? Right. Let's say you got, you, you, on, you on a flight, right? You, you got a layover oh, oh, somewhere at an airport. I'm already stressed. Plane is landing. You got to use the bathroom, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Plane lands. Your stomach is bubbling. Mm-hmm. Exit in the plane, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you you making a beeline to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Go into the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Straight to the stall. I mean, I gotta say, you're still in the plane. You're still in the plane. No, y'all in the air, you're in the airport now. You oh, got off the plane. Okay, right. and you straight to the bathroom. Okay. Hit the stall, okay. right? Okay. You hit the stall. <laughs> do what you gotta do is sit down. There's no toilet paper. There's no seat covers. There's no paper in there. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? Oh, that's easy. Oh, it's easy. Okay. That's easy. Tell me. I want to hear this. I take all of them. I take <laughs> all of my clothes off. And your underwear. Nah, my wife oh. beat her. I rip it in like three. That's what my uncle told me said to do. That's why I always keep one on. I always got a wife that's beater. What my uncle, that's yeah, what my uncle said to do that. You know how many people... Have just been like, well, either they're going to see my butt when I come out of there, or one person was like, I'll just use my sock. That's no, not bad either. That's not, sock's not bad. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like it's enough coverage. I may use my underwear though. as a girl. I don't need to wear drawers. Nah, I don't need a wife beater. I'd be a little cold, but. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't wear wife beaters. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, so. That's yeah. A, that was a good question. I wonder, whatever, I wonder what people's answers would be. <laughs> my man said a sock. Yeah. I know people who would just be like, yep, I'll be all right. One person was like, I guess I just had a mud butt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can live like that. <laughs> well, okay. Nah, can you, wait a minute. Can you like not pull up all the way and go to another stall and get oh, that's a, there's, no, there's no tw- There's no paper product. Oh, uh, you had to add that. That would have been. So other people were like. I had banged. 
Can you ask somebody yeah. else? Like, hey, you got some toilet paper That's over there? That's a Seinfeld episode <laughs> right there. That's a Seinfeld episode right there. That's a right sitcom joint right there. And in the episode, for those who don't watch, the lady did not pass the... I don't have any to spare. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> I don't have any to spare. And, and, and Elaine essentially, like, watched those shoes. She was like, oh, so I know she, who she, and she spent the entire episode trying, trying to get the girl back. Uh, yeah. Oh. So I, I mean, stupid. that happens all the time in girl bathrooms. You be like, because y'all always use Yeah, we, yeah. So we be like, um, can you pass me some toilet paper real quick? Oh, I mean, that there's happens. No, there's no paper products in the bathroom. Oh. They haven't got to it yet. It's a busy airport, and that joint needs to be. Especially Please if I got if I got a flight to catch, I ain't spending no time. I ain't spending much time on that. I got to Yeah, I got to move. I'm definitely yeah, taking my shirt. taking I'm my sure. joint off, taking my wife beater, ripping that joint in two, wrapping it around my hand. Y'all want all details? Yeah, and I'm gonna use one side. I'm gonna fold it over. <laughs> get sounds that. Like use the other side. It sounds like a plan. You know what I'm saying? And, and. if that's enough. I'm going to just use the rest of the wife beater to dry my hands when I wash them. Mm -hmm. Job done. Job done. Nobody is the wiser. Let me tell y'all. Let me give y'all a story. I had to do that shit before. <laughs> <laughs> right? And yeah, let me tell you. Chronicles. And it wasn't even in the bathroom. Oh. It was in the woods. Yeah. Okay. Oh, That's I what mean, happened to my yeah. uncle. He was on the side of the road. It was in the woods. No. Mm. I was on a basketball court. Play, you know, we used to play basketball outside. We used to play outdoors. Oh, like this was you. Oh, this was me. Oh. I went to go play ball with a group of guys that I met at another basketball court. Hey, man, we play ball over here. Oh, we, 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 yeah, I'm going to pull up. I, I came alone. And, uh, man, I'm telling y'all about this dude. This dude, nice. I'm like, yeah, I can't wait. They talk about me, too. You know what I'm saying? Man, dog, like mid-game, I was like, I don't think I could take it. <laughs> and they were like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, like oh, you need us to pause the game? I was like, no, go ahead and just get me a whole sub. I'm like, I need to, uh, I yeah, got to go. I got to go. Yeah, dog, and I had to get my little, oh, this happened to me twice. Damn, shit. <laughs> Not shitty. Yeah. Back in the day, in high school, I used to have to wait for my parents to pick me up from school because, you know, <laughs> school was like 30 minutes away for us. And uh, after a certain time, they locked the school. Oh, you had to go. Oh, man. After a certain time, they locked the school. Oh, man. That's how I know what to do because I've been in the situation before. I see. And I've had, yeah. And now, say, well, that's it. <sighs> But it's yeah. but it's different doing it on school grounds. Yeah. Finding somewhere on school property. Yeah. Very hard. With friends that you're in a carpool with, <laughs> wondering where, where the go? hell you go. Where you go? Right. Yeah. So. Come back to man. Y'all not cold. <laughs> it's a little chilly. <laughs> Look at what happened. Did you get in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. Yeah, right. Wow. Yeah. They, uh, the janitor was still here. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Let me in. Yeah, so. Oh. Shitty. <laughs> Shitty. Shitty. Nah, that, that's, that's what I don't wish that on nobody. I told y'all before, that's one of the worst feelings. When nature calls, you got to answer. Nah, that's not even nature. That's mm. a natural disaster right there. That is. For those of you who haven't, watch Swarm. Uh, yeah, are you, are you doing that? For watch Swarm? Swarm. I got another philosophical question for y'all, real quick. Okay. If you had a friend. That talk to you the same way you talk to yourself. Would you be friends with that person? I need more. The same way you do you talk to yourself? You talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. The same way you talk to yourself. If you had a friend that talked to you just like that, would but, you do you think y'all be friends? I don't talk to myself in complete sentences. No, yeah. just just in general. I'd just be like, oh, what the fuck? Or I might be like, oh, come on. Like I might be like on some like Phrases, not even complete sentences. I don't know. Okay. How would I communicate with that person? Okay. Yeah, I think I would. Yeah. What you mean? I mean, the way I talk to myself is the way I talk to people. Oh, who not me. Friends with. Mm. So you so mean out loud? Because I don't actually talk to nah, myself. Even in your head. No. Because be that would be weird. Ah, uh, okay. It would just be weird. Like, I don't say sentences. I just say things. 
And because it's me, you feel like some you're not gonna understand what they say. No, nah, because it's me. Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah, you gonna understand what that person's saying though? Because it's you. Your it's thought pattern goes the same kind of way. Similar. Yeah. Think about it. So if I be like, that person would be like, ah, not today. You'd be like, I feel the same way. Yeah. <laughs> me either. Not, yeah. <laughs> not today. <laughs> yeah. That's all they had to say. Like, They'd be I like, was the just thinking person. the same thing. Yep. Right. You'd be like. You'd be like, like Sheet. The orange one. <laughs> and you be like, yep, orange. Exactly. Man, it's fat as hell. Hey, my dog. Hey, dog. I was just, oh, I didn't even know you had. Right. No. I, don't, I, I guess. I don't know. It'd probably be weird to a point. I think it would be weird for It'd me. It'd be too weird. Somebody else. I'd be like, yeah. This bam is always on point. Yeah. What is going on here? Is what he watching me? He be freaked out. I would a little mm-hmm. bit. Hey, let's piggyback on that. Let's piggyback on that question. Okay. How do you feel about new friends as an adult? <sighs> it's a touchy subject because no, I mean like new friends, like y'all, like you trying to bring them around the day ones, like ah, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does it matter where you meet them? Does it matter who they are, what they do? Is or the are you even open to new friends? Yeah. Do you have space or capacity for that? And this is different from men and women also. Yeah, I, I mean, here's the thing. I don't know if I, I'm open to new friends. I don't know if I have the time to develop a friendship right. like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So my best bet would be to invite them to something that I'm having that people are going to be at. Mm-hmm. That's not necessarily just for my day ones. Right. You know what I mean? Right. What, what, what about you two? Yeah, I'm, I'm open to it. Um, but I'm so like for me, it depends on where they are in their life and, and what life. they're willing to accept. Like answer. for women, it's different because we are like. You know, we could be mothers or, you know, mm-hmm. and it's different than someone who may be single because then I may not be available to do the things that they want to do when they want to do them all the time. So <coughs> consider flaky. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, so it really just depends on where they're at and their maturity of accepting <coughs> where I'm at in right. my life. Right. When I'm saying, oh, no, I can't because I got to do this. And but I can try to, you know, make plans right. here. And it's hard to maybe you said, like you said, to just building something. They got to be hard. married, too, at this point. Yeah, it would help. They got to be married or have probably a have a kid, other. too. Because they're not going to understand. Got, lifestyles are going. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're not going to yeah, understand. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's going to be like. I agree. Really? Mm-hmm. As opposed agree. to them being like already aware or not even giving out the outlandish things. Yeah, let's go to uh, Jamaica tomorrow. It's like, what? Yeah, like, come yeah. on, bro. You know I you, can't go to <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. What are you yeah. talking about? Talking about? Right. Yeah. I, got you, I got you. So. I think for me, my, my I don't have much capacity for it. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you don't even want to have just, the patience for nah, it? I just think, I don't, nah. Like, I think because the way I am in my relationships now, like, that's how I want to be with everybody. Ah, uh, I, I understand exactly what you're saying. But I can't give that same energy to a new person. A new person. Mm. Yeah. So not only would it be weird, but what if it's weird to them? Also, right. and then that would be like a turn off. Like, right. Or it'd be a situation where I just leave myself in a, in a situation where I'm going to be disappointed. I know. Yeah, you, ain't, you don't really want to do that either. Nah, you can't really trust people nowadays because you don't know what their intentions are. I was gonna say I'm not a very trusting yeah, yeah, person. Yeah, that's people for guys. It's, I mean, you gotta think about that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, you, you say, know the worst. You say, a woman, the I worst believe. a woman is gonna do is you know y'all gonna pair cycles or something. I don't know, but <laughs> but you know niggas be they, you know you never know, dog. But I must be. I mean, I, I ain't really too worried, but I just don't. I'm just not a very trusting person yeah, of and I don't want to worry. strangers. I don't mean neither. Like, what is your intention? Like, why you want to be so close to me, though? Like, why Like, why are you so into me, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't understand. Like, I don't know. Well, if y'all just hit it off, though. That's, like, let's say, let's say. That's happened. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it was cool for the couple of weeks that we knew each other. If I ever run into you again. It's all good. Man, I'm about to, hey, 
Drink, drink on yeah, me. Yeah, 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 but not. Hmm. And you, you, you get a follow on Instagram. That's oh, it. I got you. That's what I think stuff like that is for. Social networking. Yeah, yes. that's what I think. That's stuff what like it that is. is yeah, for. I mean, that's yeah. what it was meant for. And, and 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 eventually, at some point, you may learn to trust that individual based on well, then, maybe. Well, then you never know because, that's stuff, because right. that stuff ain't always real either. That's yeah. true. You gotta have some type of face to face interaction right. for it, for right. it to build something. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's weird. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was really bad, but you do? I was a big yawn. Oh. Well, guess that's it, guys. That's the signal. That's the signal right now. I'm sorry. Thanks was, for coming out. I couldn't help it. Like and subscribe. Holler's your boy and your girl. And, and whatever that is in there. It's a boy. We all hope it's a boy. <laughs> I don't know. Peace out.